Okay, we are on. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Scott, and I like RPG games, and this here is my daughter, Taylor, and she likes opening boxes that don't belong to her. <laughs> um, so this is just for fun. Um, I received a, a thing in the mail a few days ago from something I kickstarted, and uh, my daughter, who is a YouTube aficionado, right yeah <laughs> and soon to be social media queen i would imagine um asked can we do an unboxing and i said well sure why not just for fun and apparently a couple people like this idea and are looking forward to it so uh myself and my 10 year old daughter here will try to get through this and you know at least make it watchable so uh a little story about this the first package that we have here has come all the way from england uh, it's something that I backed a while ago. It comes from, some of you may be familiar with this, but it comes from Monkey Blood Designs. Um, did I pronounce that correctly? Yes, Monkey Blood Designs. Uh, Glenn Seal, uh, the author and creator of it. Um, and um, coincidentally, uh, after this box arrived, after Taylor here suggested doing an, an um, unboxing, Another box just happened to arrive of something that I backed that kind of fits well within the theme of Glenn's Midderlands. So we're going to be doing two here. And, you know, I will open them up. Well, actually, I will cut it open. You'll open the box. Yeah. And you'll kind of tell everyone what it is and see if you can guess what it's about for fun. What do you think? I think I already know what it's you about because you have a thousand of them. Well, they're all different, to be fair, and I don't have a thousand books, but close to it. So, first one here, we'll go ahead and open the one directly from Glenn. So, uh, I'm just going to open it, get it open for her, and then Taylor here can do the rest. All right, so, and, and there's the box, and don't worry about, oh, looks like we may need to do a little bit of cutting there. Get that. All right, let me, let me get the knife here. Hold on. Only professionals use old camping steak knives to open their boxes. All right. I think you can get through the bubble wrap, right? Yeah. Okay. Well. If there's some more tape. <laughs> well, Glenn did an excellent job packaging this up. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Some gold rolls. So. Oh, it looks like Well, a, don't open it up. Hold it Hold it up to, <laughs> to the camera so they can see what it is. And that is the. The Bat of St. Abbans. Abbans, yes. Okay. So, do you know anything about the Midderlands? Uh, no. No? Well, for those who, you know, who don't, the Midderlands is a, uh, an RPG setting. Um, essentially, it's set in a fantastical, magical type of England, uh, you know, s loosely based on reality, uh, but um, most of it's pure fantasy, you know, goblins and creatures and okay. everything is there, but also it's, um, imagine if it was England, but instead of covered in fog, it's covered in like a green hue glow, um, and all sorts of crazy fun stuff happens there. What do you think? Like your background? Like my background. Oh, well, okay. kind of, yeah, like that over there. But that's, that's, that right there is not a Midderlands uh, thing, but a color similar to that, which no one can see. Um, so anyways, so the, the Bats of St. Abbans uh, was kick-started, and what do we have inside? Um, I think there's dice in here. Oh, I don't think there's dice in there. But or small books. Okay. Be careful. Oh, careful. <laughs> I just like open it. There you go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Uh, looks like that. More bubble wrap with some tassels inside. So. Pack get it. it open. Pack oh. Pack some it. small books. Careful with the bubble wrap, though. Keep keep it if you can. Well, don't don't. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> it's always you can get more bubble wrap, I suppose. Right, so we got these um, papers. Well, we got oh wow, bookmarks. Yep. So we come with a 
Yep, some wonderful little bookmarks with some imagery on there. Uh, most of Glenn's stuff, when you purchase it, comes with a very nice thank you card. And on the back comes with a Midderlands uh, character sheet. Um, sometimes they come with other things, if I'm not mistaken. There's also, ooh, a, a small map. Small map. Okay. Oh, there you go. Maybe down a little bit. And that's the map of, looks Saint like. St. Abbans. St. Abbans. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And, and what do you think? What, what do you think Saint Abbans is? Uh, like, like some kind of saint. Well, I mean, it's a building, though. So if, if oh. something's called Saint Abbans, what do you think it is? Uh, a saint? <laughs> a building? I need to take you to church more often. I think <laughs> that's what that says right there. There's this book. Uh huh. That. And, Yep. There's people. Yeah, people inside. And there's, um, I think there's like two small maps right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. So yeah. So what Taylor held up was a uh, maps and handouts book. Um, likewise, it comes with an adventure book. Uh, inside with quite a bit of information and if I'm not mistaken one of these in here has the infamous random bats in the belfry generator can I have this bookmark <laughs> and that's how it goes <laughs> uh, can't walk away without something huh I'm, I'm already paying you for this already <laughs> claim my stuff but maybe I'll let you have it <laughs> okay. and then we also have a bestiary book that comes in this um, easily several dozens uh, in here. Um, once again, very well produced, wonderful images inside the book, yeah. you know, done by Glenn, does, a, does an excellent job here. And lastly, we have an intro and non-player character book. Um, you know, like I said, I've never done this before, so I'm hoping I'm holding this up correctly. Um, chock full of wonderful, beautiful looking people. Uh, to add some <laughs> to add some flavor and text or flavor and text Jesus add some flavor and imagery and ambiance to your ongoing Minerlands campaign flavor well flavor's a term <laughs> yeah trust me I, I, I sometimes when you, people mention that flavor it's just like oh this RPG tastes funky <laughs> um, and then also there's one other thing I forgot to mention that a little there is an small sheet uh, Ecclesiastical time tracker um, to handle, obviously, within the game. Estical it's, time. Well, it allows you to track time within the game because it looks like when you're playing the game at certain times of day, random things happen. Like, um, is that is that wine spilled? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it's it's pretend wine. I hope. Is uh, it printed? Yes, I'm sure it's printed. <laughs> Uh, well, for example, like uh, a nocturne event, uh, you know, from between midnight to 4 a.m., uh, if you rolled a 2 on a d12, which I don't have here, surprising enough, uh, 1d6 stray demons teleport onto the abbey's north roof and spread out in search of a way in. So, I'm very excited for this. This seems like this could be an, a, a fun time, a wonderful adventure in the world of the Midderlands. And likewise, the book comes with a nice foam inlay that you can rest your books on and keep them nice and secure. Very nice foam. Very nice foam. <laughs> You're thinking about pulling that out and doing an art project with it, aren't you? Yeah. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. Okay, so so we will put these back. Can I open the... His... His... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about the other one? Okay. Well... Let's open the other box. All right, hold on. Let me put this, put it back properly. Keep, keep these sa things safe. These, these Kickstarters aren't free, <laughs> especially when they, you know, it costs your college tuition to ship it out here nowadays. <laughs> thank, thank you, Brexit. Um, all right, so. so what does it have a thirty-two on it? What do you mean a thirty-two? A thirty-two. I don't know. <laughs> write, write the U.S. Postal Service and ask them that. <laughs> Okay, let me cut this open. 
hope we haven't worn out our welcome here yet. I know this will be a bit long. So this one comes from uh, Frog God Games. And this is a guess of what it might be. So I'm hoping my guess is correct. But go ahead and open it. I eat this box. Well, I've already showed it, that. It opens really nicely. I hope it opens. Like, oh, I have to open this side. All right. Like a normal box. As opposed to abnormal boxes. <laughs> how do they, how do how do abnormal boxes open? Uh, they have four four flaps that you open. And then what? They fly away after you open them. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. So next okay. one, Frog Out Games. Oh yeah. Oh, and there's my son in the background. Hi Noah. My cat. Jeez. All right. A book. Uh, uh, <clears throat> surprise. <laughs> A book. All right. The Midlands. The Midlands. This the is the fifth edition setting of and this. And, um, bestiority. Bestiority? <laughs> Beast, bestiary. <laughs> bestiary. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you said it correctly. That's how they say it in, in bestiary. jolly old London. Bestiary. Bestiary. All right, well, can I, can I have it? <laughs> yes! Show them the back. Oh, okay. There's the back with a wonderful description um. of the Midderlands. So what this is, is the Midderlands, as, as I mentioned earlier, is an established setting uh, of a uh, loosely based on real places within, you know, most of the uh, United Kingdom. Where's my bookmark? And surrounding, it fell on the ground. <laughs> You're stepping on it. Um, and one of the things that uh, Glenn and those at Necromancer Games um, uh, wanted to do was convert this wonderful setting for those who, um, you know, enjoy playing. I forget. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Fr Go ahead. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she wrote a little note to say hello in the beginning, but <laughs> better late than never. So anyways, the Midderlands for 5e. Uh, fantastic setting. Um, and I'll just read a little bit in the back here for you because... Fifth edition, you know, obviously some people, you know, some people love it. Some people can take or leave it, but depending on whoever you are, um, is wonderful to have options for fifth edition. Uh, things that uh, you can do with the, that game setting that allows you to experience things that aren't necessarily on the, you know, Sword Coast. Um, Anyway, so the Midderlands, a green-hued, dark fantasy, old-school mini-setting and bestiary set in a twisted Middle England. <clears throat> Excuse you. No, stop it. Stop distracting. Uh, situated in the middle of the Haverland of Haverland is an area known by the ancestors as the Middle Haverlands. They don't use that name much anymore, preferring to talk lazily and skip letters in strange accents. Oops. I should know where a period is. In strange accents, often misheard and little understood by those outside of the central region, they call it the Midderlands, and themselves Midfolk or Midderlanders. And it goes on uh, and on here, but um, if you're looking for something different uh, to do with your 5e campaign or your 5e players, um, outside of the general scope of, you know, what it is WotC is providing, which nothing wrong with that if that's your jam. But uh, if you're, if, if just some, just a little bit of a different setting, you know, a little bit of old school flavor added to 5e, um, just a fantastical world filled with, you know, you know, I mean, this, you know, just imagine, you know, surviving in this crazy emerald green uh, world of, you know, goblins and, you know, you know, mushroom men existing through your world. Strange things in the far midst of the forest that, you know, none of your players have ever experienced or seen that they're discovering for the first time. I can't recommend this enough. Um, so... Definitely gonna, we'll be using this for you know my 5e players uh, once we wrap up a campaign we're working on, and um, yeah. So, I mean, it's not really here to do a full review, just a general unboxing. But um, I'm a giant fan of, of all of Glenn's work. Uh, everything that he he has produced that I've seen is just superb, and enjoy playing in it, trying, being a part of it, uh, and especially introducing it to new people. 
uh, new players. Um, uh, you know, out here in the, in the States, a lot of these things just don't make it out here. And um, so always enjoy uh, bringing new people into the uh, world of the middle land. So, so that's, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Daddy want... <laughs> So, this probably has run longer than it needed. Um, and it's already 15 minutes in. Right, but uh, so anyways, we'll go ahead and, and cut it out now. This, this is just for fun. Get your hands off of there, you silly thing. Um, maybe might do this again sometime soon. Who knows? Depends on, you know, if I want to be insulted by my 10-year-old daughter more, uh, as I do have other boxes. But uh, uh, guess what? The what? Another box came in the mail the other day. It has nothing to do with the Midderlands, but it's from someone else that I uh, equally admire. So would you like to do a, another one of these, Sue? Another unboxing? Uh, sure. Sure? Are you? I mean, it's an opportunity for you to open something. They're... I mean, mm -hmm. the the subscribers hate part two. <laughs> hate part two. <laughs> subscribers? <laughs> well... Part two. <laughs> Why do they hate part two? Because they hate waiting. Oh, they hate <laughs> waiting. Oh, well, well I'll, I'll, my YouTube analytical here, uh, you know, uh, algorithm, I guess we'll go with what she suggests. So who knows? We may be back again uh, doing some silly stuff while she can... Can this be my YouTube channel? No. <laughs> I mean, well, sure, I don't care. But it can be whatever you want it to be. Anyway, so um, I, I think that's about it. Uh, this was a lot of fun, uh, and if no one watches it, that's fine, because I'm perfectly content having fun with my daughter here. So, um, my name's Scott, and... Screwdriver says hi. And, uh, and my, you know... Wait, wait, wait. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Make it quick. Uh, my name is Scott. I enjoy RPG games, and this here is Taylor, my daughter, who enjoys opening stuff that doesn't belong to her. And she is going to say goodbye here in a special way. She's got to be quick because this is running way too long. And we are out of okay. here. All right, so say goodbye, Taylor. This is Teddy. Teddy says hi. Teddy says clap, clap, clap. Oops, Teddy died. <laughs> yes, so I think we will conclude that. So uh, until next time, everyone have an excellent day. Don't forget that I said, oh, hello. Right, all right, <laughs> bye for now. Bye.